I did a little um, Instacart shopping order. I did Wegmans this time. Normally, um, I would do Aldi's, but today Wegmans had the shorter delivery time, so I just did that. It is a little bit more expensive than Aldi would be. Um, I did also notice that I didn't put the Wegmans uh, member number in there, um, so I didn't get like that little discount. So I'll remember that for next time if I use it again. But anyway, let's just take a look and see what we got. So we'll start right here. Um, first of all, I got I needed the ingredients for to make some more of my juices. Um, I have the Bonville, I think it's called, um, juicer. So I got this carrots. I got the family pack um, because I also cook with these carrots as well. My son really likes carrots, um, like in soups and different meals that we have and stuff like that. So that's why I got the big one. Um, so there's that. I didn't even realize I had gotten the organic one. So, you know, there that is. Um, I'll show this because this is the only thing that's not food or related to the juicing. But I really love this soap. Um, we use it a lot. I do dilute it. When we were first using it, I didn't dilute it. And it was, um, the kids felt like it was a little bit too strong. So I do dilute it now. Um, and I really like it. All of us use it. I'm including my husband, so we go through quite a bit. So we like to buy the gallon. And when I saw that they had it in stock, I definitely got it because for the last few weeks, at least, or the last couple times, um, last couple months we tried to get it, it was gone. So I did grab one. Um, I may have sent my husband to get another one, but yeah, I really like this soap. It has tons of uses. I'm sure everybody knows what it is. So that's that. Um, then I got the celery and this is the par is this parsley is this yeah parsley and then i got some cucumbers the cucumbers are kind of small i'm not really excited about that but i guess you know it is what it is she did i will say that this um instacart person she did a good job with picking fresh veggies um i've had issues before with people just grabbing whatever's there and then the fruits and stuff are not in the best the fruits and vegetables are not in the best um, shape. But I will say for Instacart, they do, you know, give you some kind of remedy for the issue. So if you let them know, you know, they'll refund you, give you credits and all that. So I got some beets and I could have just got, should have just got one bunch, but that's okay. Um, I'll make sure that I use them. I use the green and um, the bulb in my juices. That's the one thing about ordering on Instacart that I sometimes uh, mess up is looking to see if if the item is per pound or per package so for this i thought it was like um per bunch or however i thought it was so i put two uh and i didn't realize how big the bunches were but say for example like for this ginger which i got which this is a lot of ginger i have to see can you freeze ginger i'll have to see um i'll ask my mother i'm sure she knows but I didn't expect this much ginger. So I think this one, and if I put two, thinking like it was a package, but it's per pound. So you gotta pay attention to that, you know, if that makes sense. So there's the ginger. And then one of the new juice recipes I found had turmeric in it. So I just grabbed um, that one to put in there. And then you can see here, um, most of my juice is called for spinach. I put kale in too. Um, and these, you know, of course, it's already cut up. Not that when using the juicer, you need to cut it up, so it doesn't really matter but they had these so i got two of those and then i got this big bag of apples it's an eight pound bag um which might seem like a lot but my daughter eats apples literally all day she can eat like five or six apples um so anytime she wants a snack she grabs an apple so i use them for my juice but also for her and then i have these lemons here i just grabbed um a bag of them some of them are actually kind of hard i put lemon in my water and then in the juices as well. These two are new. Um, I wanted the other brand of water that, um, well, actually, no. I usually get the bubbly water. And then they had another brand that I wanted to try because I like the flavor. It had like watermelon something and then a different one. But she messaged me and let me know they didn't have it. She showed me what they did have. So I picked these as a replacement. And that's another good thing about Instacart too. Um, you can message them while they're shopping. So if for any reason they don't have what you need, you know, instead of just refunding it, they can show you additional options. And I will say that um, throughout this whole quarantine, everything, I've used Instacart a lot and you don't always get people who do that. So 
I definitely appreciate when I get a person who lets me know something is not there instead of just um, refunding it. She also cleared um, the, you know, same along with that. She cleared the replacements for it with me. Like there's an option on Instacart where you can, um, if it's low in stock, it'll tell you and it'll say, well, you know, would you, what would you want as a replacement? So you can do that, but it doesn't always show that way. So I like that she asked so I could end up getting what I really wanted instead of just having stuff refunded. I got coconut water. I don't like drinking that by itself, but when I'm making the juices, sometimes um, I will put some of that in there to make my juices go further. And then lastly, I got these mason jars. I don't even know if these were a good price or not, but it was convenient just to have them come with the fruits and vegetables because I originally purchased, when I purchased my juicer last year, um, I originally purchased, these are eight ounce ones. I originally got some glass bottles. I think they're like 17 ounce um, bottles. I still use them. But the tops were like metal on the outside, plastic on the inside. So like water was getting in there and then most of the metal parts popped off and water gets like trapped inside the, um, the part inside of the top. It's hard to clean, it starts to smell. So I got rid of most of the tops and I use the, the bottles just if I'm drinking water because I like to drink out of glass. But when it comes to making the juice, I need to have something to put in that I can close and put in the fridge. So this is what I got today. Um, not too bad as far as for my juices. I will say it's definitely more expensive than what I would have spent if I went to Aldi's. Um, but a bunch of this is the organic stuff. So not even a bunch, a few of the items. So I won't even say that. Um, it's just more expensive than Aldi's pretty much put. Um, this right here is 30, was it 39? But the smaller ones that we were getting were um i think it was like 16 dollars for each one so this is a good deal for a whole gallon as opposed to buying like the regular tall size ones um that go a lot quicker so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video i think i'm going to do possibly a video of me making some of my juices and bottling them up and you know getting them set in the fridge now i've tried to find a balance with the juice because normally um well i've had two scenarios one i was making too much of the juice and then I read that you shouldn't leave it in the refrigerator for like more than three days. Um, so I was trying to make the juice for the week. So I stopped doing that because it was too much at once. But to be honest, I really don't want to be making juice every single day. So I'm going to try to make enough for um, two days at a time. So I'll probably do a video of that just, you know, just because um, I have a book from um, Amazon when I purchased my juicer. It's the uh, Breville, B-R-E-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And I purchased this as well. It has some good recipes in there. You can see I've dog-eared a lot of pages. It's kind of messy. But, um, yeah, so I get stuff from here, and then I also look online, you know, if I need some other examples. But this is it. So um, if you like to see the juices that I end up making, which I do tweak them a little bit depending on what I like, um, yeah, I'll put that in another video for you guys. So thanks for watching. See you next time.